Good morning, your turn. I hope everybody had a lovely bank holiday weekend. This is now week six we're going into of home learning. So we're going to continue with the work that you were doing last lesson, which was focusing on completing an artist research page on natural forms of your choice. So we are now going to be looking at how to develop that artist research going forward this week. And also we're going to have a look at the success criteria and the grading criteria for GCSE Art. This is just to refocus some of you and ensure that you are working to the best of your ability and on track. So we're going to start just by having a look at the progress and the relationship between research and then the research page. So as you can see here, I've put the title page. This is an example from Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, which a lot of you did actually look at simultaneously for your artwork this week. And then this was a really good example that I showed you, um, inspired by the work of George O'Keefe. So I just wanted to discuss really quickly the link between the initial work of the artist and the research page my previous student completed. Now, like I said previously, this is a top, 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 top grade. This is thoroughly, thoroughly researched. And I'll talk a little bit more about where you should be at with your grades and that because we're all working at different grades and that is absolutely fine. We're all set different targets. But if we aim for the top, there's no reason why you can't even boost the grade you've been um, predicted up as well. So, as you can see, she took a painting from the artist, from Georgia O'Keeffe, and then she used her own natural form drawings mixed with Georgia O'Keeffe's kind of drawings and she worked in lots of different mediums and materials and carried out a variety of different tests. So we're now going to move forward and look a little bit further about the things you were doing last week. So there was some amazing work submitted last week from those of you that did. Um, I'm still waiting for quite a bit of work from some people. Um, I did contact home a few weeks back. Um, I will be contacting home this week for those of you that I'm still waiting on work for. Um, I've not had a lot of feedback from those people. Um, the people that are submitting their work, you're doing a great job. And I've spoke to most of you the last couple of weeks. So please keep that up. I've actually seen the standard improve from those individuals. So well done. I'm really seeing you work hard and it is not going unnoticed. Um, this was some stunning work submitted last week by somebody in the class. So they researched Elena James over a page. They did a brief summary about the kind of things that she's up to, what she does. They've discussed their opinions. They've used colour tests in what she uses in her work and some high quality small drawings. Love this one down the bottom here, this exceptional detail here. And then they've started branching out and doing their own drawings inspired by Elena James. So the next step today is you're gonna take this research and slight development that you've done and continue to develop it further into your own ideas. So now this person would start to use their previous natural forms drawings and combine it with this artist's research. So it might be that you start doing your fruit and vegetables in this style. It might be that you use these colors and add some different mediums such as colored pencils or acrylic paint. Maybe you're just gonna take one element Maybe you're going to take this mark making section here and use biro or pen to recreate and add that. It is entirely up to you. But we are showing this development of ideas. So if we go back here, we can see they've combined the artist's work with their own work. They've used the colours, they've used watercolour techniques, they've used the textures and they've also combined their natural forms drawings. So make sure you are bringing in your previous drawing ideas and combining it with the artist research. We are researching an artist and their work to develop our starting points and our previous ideas, combining the two to go forward. So this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for from last lesson to then go forward and develop. So we're just continuing to work on ideas that we've done from last lesson. I'm not gonna set a strict a strict um, guideline on what you need to produce this week, 
but I'm going to say over Monday and Thursday's lesson to just keep working and producing maybe one or two further high quality drawings if you've done your tests. Maybe it's that you need to look at this and go, right, okay, I need to do some more tests. But it should end up in a double page that looks this full and this detailed from lots of little tests and high quality drawings. So I'll repeat again. For example, if you're up to this stage where you've done your artist research page, you've done some tests and ideas, you would now bring in your previous natural forms drawings, such as your organic fruit and veg, and also bring in some other techniques and start to combine things like the colours, the techniques, the textures with this idea the artist has presented. Some other good examples from the week. I thought these were stunning. Um, someone's uploaded and sent me these amazing Georgia O'Keeffe drawings, some inspired by her work and some of their own work. So again, some more here. Love the little tests. And the idea of using different mediums, this pencil and watercolour, from what I can see. And they've explained their tests clearly. So now they would go forward and start to adapt this style to working with the natural forms items such as fruit and vegetables that you drew for your first ideas. So you would use this fluid watercolour technique if you chose Georgia O'Keeffe in that same way. We've got another one, Carl Blossfield, um, one of our students looked at. I think this was Arena. Um, she's done some really lovely studies. She's added some writing in. So now Arena would take this forward by adding in some natural forms drawings using what she's already got. So she might look at this style now. It could be that you combine two. You might combine a flower with a vegetable. I want you to create something innovative and new. I also really like the presentation of this page. Um, she's considered the layout by adding the paper. She's worked in different mediums on top of the paper, done some smaller drawings and some higher quality ones. So this is the kind of thing we should be now working from to develop further. So you're effectively creating a second double page in your book with furthered developments and adding in your natural forms items. So please make sure you're watching this video, obviously. <laughs> obviously you're watching it, otherwise you wouldn't hear this feedback. So you're developing your artist research. Just a recap, if you missed any of last week, you're selecting one of these artists or one of your own from last week to further develop the ideas and research. So the next thing that I want to look at with you is this success and grading criteria. Now I mentioned it briefly in class. GCSE runs over AO1. AO2, AO3 and AO4 and you can have a good look at these in detail on your own. Today we are really focusing on AO1, developing our ideas and if you look closely you can see the top grades and most of you should be aiming for grade 6. Even if you're set at a 5 I think you should aim for the 6. So it says I've explored lots of interesting artists and cultures and can copy in the style and technique they have used and apply it to my own practice. I can write about the artwork clearly and use parts to support the development of my own ideas. So you've looked at one. If we go back to this exceptional grade here, this would fit that probably grade seven bracket at the moment. Obviously it says look at lots of artists and you will be looking at lots over the next few uh, months. But this shows clear and detailed development. We can see it comes from artist research. There's lots of tests, lots of high quality drawings that are different. And then there's some that are being developed. That goes back to this idea of development for AO1. If you wanted to get a higher grade, it says a diverse range of artists and cultures and produce lots of work. So quality and quantity does come into play. But at the moment, we're just focusing on that quality. So this is the kind of thing that you need to do. I'm not going to go through the lower grades for now because I think most of you are able to work at this grade six level. And then you will start to refine, which we'll go into next week. You've already done record by recording your initial ideas. 
Now it does say for record, to confidently record using primary photographs detail and detailed annotations. A lot of you have done these observational drawings already. But I want you to just have a look and see if you can take some photographs as well, because that really, really helps boost the clarity in your work. Overall, present is talking about your work as a whole, imaginative, original and personal ideas that are clearly presented. That is what you should be working at, showing your own ideas, not just copying the artist's drawing. Maybe you copy a section of it and then develop it. But that is us just tying in some of these objectives for you clearly there. Again, I've put some examples of really good artist pages and I've clearly labelled them. And you can look at those in your own time. Clear and thorough development. This is what will get you the higher grades. Lots of little mini careful drawings and analysis. But let's just go back and recap what I expect of you this week. I expect you to now develop your ideas from looking at research to then keep improving your drawings like this student in my class has done already. So you'd keep working and to develop these ideas this week. I'm not going to set out how many drawings I want done because I think actually you've been better when I've given you a bit of freedom. But I do want at least one or two high quality drawings, at least. Yeah, but you might do it in this way here. So you might do it like lots of little drawings over a double page. Or you might do it development ones like this. But I do want you to tie in like this person has done here. Not just the exact thing the artist is doing, but I want you to tie in your natural forms drawings. For example, fruit items, vegetable items, also used in different mediums. You can see they've used oil pastels, they've used watercolour, they've done pencil drawings, coloured pencil, layered drawings, 3D drawings, colour tests. It is meant to be now your chance to explore and develop independently. This is the kind of thing that I'm looking for. So over Monday and Thursday's lesson, I want you to produce this. On Thursday, I will say for you to hand in all of this from the week. So spend two to three hours from Monday to Thursday and by 4 p.m. I would like something uploaded. You do not have to upload something on Monday. However, if you feel that you complete some of the work on Monday, which you should be doing in the hour, and you want to upload it to me for some feedback, I will be there waiting for it. And I do recommend this because you can't improve if you've not had feedback. Even if it's just a small section or one drawing you want some advice on, please engage with me and upload that. Okay? I hope that is clear on what I expect you to do today, Year 10. If you have any questions or any issues with this, please, please get in touch and just send me a message or send me an email um, like you normally would as well. But I will be there waiting on Monday for anybody that wants to communicate or to ask me any questions. And then Thursday is this solid deadline. Like I mentioned previously, I will be contacting home just for those that I think are needed um, an extra push this week. I've already spoke to some of you and I'm happy with your progress. But I'm going to be ringing those again who've still failed to upload work because I'm worried and conscious that you could be falling behind and I really don't want that because it will take a lot of time to catch up. But you're all doing a great job um, and I hope you have a fab week again, guys. Take care and please watch this video carefully and message me if you need to. Bye!